Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on a Skoda Superb again. It has a problem on the rear calipers. And we've got two new rear calipers here, one for the right hand side, one for the left. It's actually said says left there. New brake pads, the disc, the disc is actually okay. It's probably grabbing a little bit in the, in the middle here. They are grabbing at the moment, they're not retracting properly. This car has done about nearly 400 miles. Um, so, you know, I guess they, they lasted a good time. The handbrake is down, good way. And uh, they are grabbing. I actually, actually filmed. I've got a clip here of the noise that it's making. Brake pads are lasting less than the front ones. Probably about, I don't know, maybe maybe 7,000 miles or something like that. And obviously the real one, it should last a lot longer than the front ones. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna replace the brake calipers, the rear brake calipers. And apologies about the wind, but it's really windy here in UK at the moment. First of all, I'm gonna remove the brake cable. The handbrake cable so you just gotta pull the lever there and then remove the cable now with a pick or something you're just gonna have to push down those little tabs on the edge here and wiggle the cable and the cable comes out so that's the first part now we have a little clip brake line So we've got the little clip here. Next we have the brake line again. I don't think this is 11. I only have what 11 spanner like this. This is really good to uh, to work with the brakes, but it's not gonna. I haven't got bigger ones, so I'm gonna have to get 13. It's 13. I've got 11 here. We're gonna need a 13. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Too seized. I think it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. Oh man. Let me get the buckets underneath as well. All right. <clears throat> uh, we'll have to remove the top. Top one. That one looks like 11. Yeah, it is, yeah. There we go. Lovely. So we're gonna have to remove both of them, otherwise we're not gonna go through the the hole. So there we go. Now should be able to to remove that. There we go. I actually fit it back in so we don't get any the air system and uh, I use what I normally do I use the nipple cover the rubber cover and I put the other end so it stops leaking okay so that's what I do okay so now we need to do the two 13 millimeter bolts down here and out here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well there but Okay, and then you probably need a 17 or maybe 18 behind here just to hold the, the slide the slider pin. There we go. I did test to see if they were free last week, and, and they are they are good. They are free. It's no, you move nice and freely, as you can see. The problem is actually the caliper. Rather uh, rust. <coughs> so that's the second one. Right, we should be able to pry it off now. 
and that's it that's the whole caliper 400,000 miles right so I hope you can see it there the slider pin is nice and free no issue there whatsoever next we're gonna remove the old pads they are wearing really quickly I put this pad on about a month ago it's already gone so does it come with new hardware? It does, yeah. So we've got new hardware, new bolts and everything. So those ones come off. So the caliper bracket, just make sure all the runners here for the pads are nice and clean. Uh, as you can see there, it's quite good. I replaced them a month ago, so I cleaned it all up. It's quite good condition. I'm just gonna go over them a little bit with a dry brush. It's not very dirty, so there's not almost nothing coming out of it. So Again, I'm not gonna lubricate the, the slider pin because I've done that a month ago again and it's nice and free so now the runners here are pretty good where where the pads are gonna sit but if it's uneven or has any rust or or bubbles you know the when the rust bubbles up and makes the surface uneven you wanna use a file and re remove all the rust you know make it nice and level or do not otherwise it can have problems so now I'm using I'm using some Texta uh, Syratec some brake grease I'm just gonna put a little bit where the parts are gonna sit and also a little bit in the, on the pad so The other one the same thing right with the new hardware it's pretty easy just push it in it sits in place same with the top one now we are ready to put the pad back in Make sure it moves nice and freely, like it does. That's good. I like to put a little bit of grease where the piston is going to sit. That's in. Again, nice and freely. Lovely. New caliper. all the way back so if it wasn't retracted you'd have to use one of those tools to retract the piston back we're not gonna do that because it's new it comes with new bolts Okay, now as you can see, it moves nice and freely, so it wasn't the slider pins. So, ready to attach everything back now, I'm going to put this brake line in first. It does have sort of a, a little indentation to go through. There you go. You ready to put the pipe back in? I think I have to sort of uh, put them almost at the same time.
Oh, let me s yeah. few threads at the bottom. So that seems good. And then I'll do the top one. Top one's good to go. Don't need to keel it. I need to do the bottom one, which was a 13. It's a bit tricky because it doesn't have enough room here, really. Right, so just in case you're doing it yourself, it's a lot easier to do this bottom uh, pipe with the caliper outside the bracket because you have access good access to the bottom and when the caliper is in place your spanner is gonna hit the body of the car so yeah I remove the uh, the caliper again and I have finished tightening up the bottom so it's all good it's all secure now so all I have to do I have to put the clip back just take advantage of that now put the clip back at the top if I can That's it, so the clip is back holding the the pipe and it's all done now. So put the caliper back again. Okay, so all back in place now we have the handbrake cable. Again just pop through. Just got the rubber boots pop through. off the runner there popped pop into your place it's gonna be that easy to put it back in now because unfortunately it came off in a handbrake so and if that happens I'm going to show you how to get to the handbrake end of the cable it's just you can get access just through here all right so first we're gonna pull the ashtray and you can remove the connector. I'm not gonna remove the connector now because I've done the job already. We can remove the connector and that comes off. And then again, the clock. You don't even need to remove the clock to be honest, but uh, you can leave that in place. Then remove the light. It should be easy to take it out. So the light comes off. Let me show you inside. And there it is, the, the handbrake cable end. You can adjust the, uh, the cable as well, if you need to. So it's very easy. Plenty of uh, room to access the cable to put it back in. And that's it. Otherwise you just have to pull that, that lever there and, uh, and then pop the, the handbrake ball in place so that's basically finished now all we have to do is split the brake right so just gonna undo the bolt for the the nipple there sometimes it can be quite hard so we're gonna just break it loose yeah, it's loose now so i'm gonna attach my one man brake bleeder brand new nipple there the retainer right so that's over I think yeah that's over so that's good there so let me make sure it's open it's a 10 mil by the way yeah, it is open yeah okay so we are ready to pump the brake right so I took it up the reservoir some dot four so now I'm ready to go up in place here. I'm ready to pump the brake. Let me see you guys here. 
Alright, so now we're gonna pump the brake. So I'm getting some brake fluid through now. I'm just gonna close the valve. Get the mill. Alright, so I'll close the valve now. I'm just gonna pump the brake so the piston sits on the pad properly. I think it has already. Just gonna press the brake again. Okay. So that's seated. I'm going to leaks anywhere leaks as well I'm gonna get some brake cleaner I don't think I've got any leaks all right so I'm just gonna top it up the reservoir and do the same thing again up the brake So I'm happy with that. No bubbles. Let me close the valve. So awkward where this valve is. So don't forget the little cap for the brake nipple. Just gonna press on the brake again to see if I get any, any leaks for anywhere. Let me Clean everything again. I think it was dripping from the nipple a little bit because it was too open. So, just to make sure we haven't got any, any leaks. Alright, let's pr press on the brake. Let's see if we get any leaks at all. Let me move you a little bit. Let's have a look if we've got any leaks or any. That is all good. So that's it, guys. Still got to do the other side. Still got the other caliper here. But that's it, one side. Uh, it's the same thing the other side. So, okay, I was, I thought I was finished, but I'm doing the other side and I found out something that I thought was important to mention. One of those brake pads. What, one of those brake calipers pipe has been changed because this one I always used 11 and I thought it was a bit weird the other one being 13 but as you can see on this right hand side one they are 11 so I can, I can use the open uh, spanner to do this job this side which I couldn't the other side so I just thought I'll message you guys so 
I don't know which one was replaced or if it's like this, but it was 13 the other side for sure. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.